actual budget tutorial hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with actual budget which is a open source budgeting tool this tool can be used online using PikaPods, or you can download the actual tool and then use it on your browser on your desktop so let's get started now first off we're going to cover how we can use this directly on our browser so for that you're going to head on over to PikaPods, and once you're in PikaPods, you're going to sign up once you sign up you're going to go back into actualbudget.org click on set up on PikaPods on two minutes once you do that you're going to set this up and then just click on add pod when you click on add pod you will see this is what your pod is going to look like now, when your pod has been created, you can click on open pod like so. And once you click on open pod, you're going to create a suitable password for your actual budget account. Once you do that, you can click on OK. And once you do that, you're just going to sign in. Now, once you click on sign in over here, you're just going to click on start fresh. If you want to get started with your you know, data and you want to input everything manually. However, if you already want to import your budget, you can import that or if you want to view some of the demo data you can do that as well however we're gonna get started with start fresh once you do that this is what your actual budget account is going to look like so on the top left you will have a my finances section and you can go into settings and change your system defaults including numbers dates and the first day of the week so i'm going to change that from sunday to monday and then my language is going to be english and then my basics are all right after that, I can even go into bank syncing. And for that, you must add an account to get started with bank syncing. You also have rules and pays that you can add. Now, if you take a look on the top right, you even have the syncing option. And if you go into your settings and then click on show advanced settings, you even have budget caches, resetting your sync, as well as repairing transactions. Now to get started with personal budgeting, I like to directly go on ahead and you will see on your top right, you have notes. Then over here, you can copy last month's budget, set budgets to zero, set budgets to three month average, as well as set it to a six month average. Over here, we have different categories. Now I'm going to toggle hidden categories and we can toggle those on and off and we are just going to display everything like so. Now I'm going to scroll down and starting off, we can choose to delete, rename or hide categories if we want. And then we can also collapse and expand them. And if we want, we can proceed with more categories and adding more groups as well. Now we have our usual expenses and we're going to get started with this month. So I'm going to budget, let's say 10,000 on this. And then for general expensive, I have 10,000 on this. Then we have bills. So let's say we're going to go 5,000 on bills and then we have flexible bills. Now below that we have savings. So let's say it is going to be 50,000 in savings. And then we have our income. Let's say we have a income so we can click on enable auto and then we can proceed with adding our transactions we would have to go on ahead and create a local account so you can add transactions manually so this is going to be my payday and the balance for this i'm going to get started with is let's say 100k and then just like so i have added my budget now over here going back into budgets now in this i can see my balances the total amount that i've received my total balance and i want to proceed with you know adding my spending so if i want to get started with adding my spending let's say i spend on food so i can click on add new and i can add you know how much i spent what account let's say it's on my payday account and this is going to be notes food within food let's say i paid three thousand and then i can just click on add and then just click on add over here like so and then so on and so forth we can start adding all of our expenses now you guys can see this has been added within my overall budget and i can see how much of a balance i have how much i've spent and how much i can go forward and spend now below that you also have a reporting section which can show you your net worth as well as your cash flows and monthly spending you can even click on edit your dashboard and adding new widgets to add different types of widgets this includes a cash flow graph as well as a net worth graph, a spending analysis, text widgets, summary cards, calendar cards, and new custom reporting. 
So you have all the necessary tools to analyze your spending. Below that, you even have schedules. So you can click on add schedule and you can add your schedules, including any type of payments or pay that you will be receiving. Then below that, I can go into rules and I can create my own automated rules. So if pay is payday, then apply this action or then apply to these particular actions like so. Let's say I further spent more money, so all I have to do is directly go into my billing section and if I go into all accounts over here, I can close this out and I can just click on add new. Once I do that, I want to categorize this under, let's say, general spending. Let's say I spent 6000 over here, like so. And this is going to be on our account budget like so and just like that one by one as you add everything you will see your balance as well as your income and this just helps you in staying organized now you can see you have every month listed and you can even plan for the months that are coming ahead so whenever you have a month coming you can easily pre-plan whatever income you have coming and this just makes it easier for you to manage everything so let's say instead of my food or flexible billing i want to rename this into food general billing and let's say this is going to be my travel expenses and then i can add a separate budget for that you can also roll over or transfer your overspending into a other category so for example i did not spend my budget on food so i can roll this over to any overspending that happened in any other category now i can also directly transfer this to maybe a separate category let's say i want to transfer this to my traveling section like so so you can budget and rebudget and edit and organize your finances accordingly now on the top if you do not want to use this on your browser directly and you want to use this as a full-fledged application you can also do that. So if you go back into actualbudget.org, you can click on setup manually and you guys can see different servers and server needs. So if you want to use on your actual mobile device, on your web browser, and you want to import and export budget files and use all of their budgeting features, then you definitely would be needing a server. So we're going to go ahead, click on over here, and we're just going to click on setup manually, scroll down, and then you're just going to download this. You can go into download on the top menu bar, and then you can download the appropriate menu client, including Windows, Intel, Mac, Mac Silicone, Linux. And once you download the appropriate application of actual budget, you can just install this as you wouldn't regularly install any app onto your desktop. This ensures that you have your finance planning or financial planning application at hand at all times. And this is just going to make it really easy for you to manage all of your budgets and keep everything, you know, denoted in an easy way. So just like so, you can get started with using actual budget, which is an amazing open source tool, which is truly comparable to a lot of the paid tools out there. And you're never going to be able to, you know, make life simpler when it comes to finances until you have a budget. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.